How to upload 15,000 products in under 20 minutes on Facebook Marketplace Shops. As of recently, we've been able to test out the beta with the bulk upload lister from FBM Fox, and that is for shops and individual accounts on Marketplace. FBM Fox does have a free lister and they also have a lot of different price ranges for the bulk uploader and all that and I'll go over that later in this video. If you guys do want to get signed up with them with the free lister or you're very interested, click the link down in our description and it'll bring you right to their software. If you guys do want to save 10%, use our code Millionaire Map, and I'll put that up here and let's just get right into it. I want to show you guys now how to use the bulk uploader, what are pretty crucial parts in this process. Throughout this though, I will pop up other videos from FBM Fox to help me and Kyle learn this. They are pretty crucial videos, so you should go check them out. I'll also link them down in the description. It has helped us really figure out this software, and it will go into way more depth than I will because I'm just kind of giving you guys the quick rundown. The first thing that you will want to do is you're going to want to make sure you just get signed up with FBM Fox. Once you do though, you want to go down to templates and click on that. When you are there, the next step that you want to do is hit the little plus sign so you can add a template and make one. And when you're in there, you can just write anything you want for the template name. If you're using this for shops, maybe do Facebook uh, shops or marketplace shops. And then you're going to want to go to the marketplace. And if you're doing this on an individual account, you're going to want to click Facebook US. But if not, make sure you click Facebook Shops if that's where you're using it for. And I'm going to pick Shops just because this is how we've uploaded 15,000 products to our three shops. And then you can choose anything you want for this. You know, we pick 100. You know, there's people who put 2, 5, 10, 15, whatever you choose. And I don't touch the markup. What I actually touch first is the margin. And depending on what type of items you post, say you post you know $20 items if you mark it up 50% that's going to give you a $10 margin so just play around with that figure out what's going to work best for you I don't touch the shipping price because we're on shops and we already have that set and I also don't touch the shipping method and with shop brands you also don't have to put anything into that if you don't want to we don't once you have all that you hit new for the condition and then you also can pick a Facebook product category and you know you can choose anything for this you can choose home decor you know you can pick home you know whatever really works for you guys and the big thing that we pick is auto detect and with auto detect it is very crucial that you guys probably do use this because this is what we use especially when we're at bulk uploading 5000 plus products what it does is say you have an item in you know home decor it's going to auto detect that product and select it under home decor for the product category say you have maybe a fluffy rug it's going to put it under area rugs so that's crucial and we do the same thing for the google product category hit the auto detect and that's all you really have to do we do already have headers you know you can put anything you want for that i don't want to just you know play around too much with that so you can just maybe say free shipping or whatever you guys put, you know, we already have a set one that looks really good. And you guys can just do whatever you want for that. We actually don't put a footer in ours. But that is something you can do if you do decide you want to. But once you do put that footer in and I'll make sure everything's all set, you're just going to want to make sure you hit save changes. And you are done with the templates. I will now bring us over to the bulk uploader and start showing you guys how quick it is to just put items onto this. Once you are over at the bulk uploader, I'm really just going to show you quickly how to just list these products into it. I'm not going to get too much into it because this is honestly the most simple process. Even though I did say uploading 15,000 products, between the three shops, when we uploaded 5,000 products, it took less than 20 minutes for them to get into the shop and be active. And that's what I meant by that. But in order to find 5,000 products, you know, that will take a little bit of time. It did take us a good amount of time. But we spent, you know, like I said, a lot of the time just quickly pulling them from Amazon and plugging them in. And I'll show you guys how to do that. But the first thing that you want to do is make sure it's clicked on Facebook Shops and not Marketplace if that's where you're putting the, all the items. And then you're going to want to select the template that you already built out. So I do the Facebook Shop one. And then once you do that, 
will go over to Amazon and just copy the link like this and bring it back over to the product link hit this hit enter and then enter again and then you can just keep uploading now, I'm just gonna keep doing the same product just to show you guys obviously don't do that and then you can just keep adding more and more up to 5,000 items if that's what you chose for your price plan uh, as you can see over here we've already completed a couple of them we're just using kind of like a burner account for this just to show you guys and when you are done with that you can just hit bulk list and what it will do it will come over here and it will say in progress and then you gotta let all that upload to the bulk upload lister and when you're doing 5,000 products it takes about 20 minutes for all that to get situated but once it's done then you can go plug that that sheet into your Facebook marketplace shop which I'll jump over the screen onto that and show you guys that and how it works in order to put this link into your Facebook shop what you want to do is go down to account settings once you're there you want to go to the bottom right and just copy the link once you do that you can go over to your shop and you just want to get to the data sources and you want to just hit schedule feed hit next plug it in the link that you copied do you want to touch anything with the username or password hit next and then on the next one you can leave it whatever you want but I pick hourly hit next and then you can name it whatever you want to do FBM Fox and then you upload it it's that simple it will take a little bit to upload but once it's done you'll have the products in there I will link in the description like I already said how to actually look more into this because FBM Fox is a better way of explaining it I just want to show you guys the quick rundown so make sure you guys do check that out I want to go over the pricing now with you guys I'm just gonna explain this really quick you guys can look more into it but the free lister, you know, you can just list items. It gives you everything that you get here. And it's just free. It's good to try out. It's worth it. Um, then they get the basic silver and platinum plans. There's a lot more that goes into it. You know, you get auto repricing. And they just take care of all that, you know, if it's in stock or not. You also get 25 different suppliers. You get uh, unlimited eBay, like, research. You get copy and paste. You get VA access. You get a lot more things with it. And the other big pricing that we'll get into, which you guys are really here for, which we bought, is the, if you look on my screen recording, there's, you can buy how many bulk uploads you allowed at a time. So you can pick 200, 500, 1,000, and you can see the price moving up. You know, what we have is the 5,000, so it's $200 a month. But, you know, if you get anywhere up to, you know, 50,000, then it's 1,500 a month. So there's a lot that goes into it, but if I was to recommend anything to you guys, I'd probably do the 5,000. If you can do the 50,000 if you want, but you're better off just trying to find and make a way to get multiple shops and just uploading these 5,000. So say you do have 5,000 items though, and after 30 days you decide you wanna delete them all and then re-upload a new fresh 5,000, you can do that. But other than that, you know, there's not too much more that goes into the pricing. If you guys haven't already, please make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Towards the end of this video, I'll just give away a hot product to you guys that sold for us multiple times. There's a few more things I want to go over in this video before I finish it up. The big thing that I want to go over is how much money can you actually make doing this? So like we do and what I've been talking about for a while is having multiple shops because you can just upload this to each shop. I know a lot of people are thinking, you know, well, won't that hurt you? At the end of the day, it won't. You put the 5,000 in one shop, 5,000 in the next, 5,000 in the other, and all it does is just shows it to more people and eventually you will get sales on it. There's a lot of money to be made in this, but we kind of look at it as quantity over quality because if you have that many products up i mean you're bound to get sales and seeing someone like you guys who are watching this right now you are definitely gonna get a lot more sales because you're gonna be the first people into this a lot of people are coming late into this they might kind of get screwed over a little bit because by then it could be a little saturated if you're able to just automatically you know post this many items all the time it does get pretty crazy but this is also going to save you a lot of time and that's why i'm saying like you got to be the first people into this because that's how you're going to make a lot of money the only thing that i worry a little bit about with doing this is how saturated it can become you know will facebook eventually start realizing this noticing it and shutting it down right away you know i don't know there's a good chance maybe one day they will because you know if you're just able to list that many products so quickly you know it might eventually won't always be a good thing but as of right now 
you know, this is the time to do it. You really got to get into this. The haul product that I want to give away in this video is a climbing rope. You know, we sell this around $40 and it sells really good. I know that it's tar starting to turn to winter, so maybe it doesn't sell as good as it was for us. We've actually been selling this for the past few months because it's something that we keep relisting and trying different colors and different sizes, but it should work out pretty good for you guys. The last thing I want to mention in this is everyone's recently been asking us, you know, make a video on spreadsheet and how to upload faster with that. The reason why we're not going to do that most likely is because we stopped using the spreadsheet. It honestly takes way longer. Using this bulk uploader is so much better. Yes, if you are watching this, you maybe just learned a little bit, but you got to keep watching more videos on this type of stuff because it is kind of hard to learn and it does take a little bit to learn. You know, we spent a few days trying to figure this out, but once we did, you know, the results to speak for itself. And on top of that, it saves us so much time. Like up front, we put a good amount of time figuring out. We put a good amount of time and listen to all those products. But then all you have to do is upload. And after a few weeks, we're going to clear it out, upload 5,000 more, and just keep cycling through that. It will be a few days that kind of suck because, like I said, you got to put all those links in there and make sure you do everything correctly. But there's a lot of good stuff that can come from this. When we went from Z Drop to FBM Fox and tried to figure it out and transfer everything over to it, you know, it did take us a little bit of time to learn. You know, it's a lot of stuff we have to really watch videos on. So, just, like I said, just make sure you check out their channel. There's a lot of good information that really helped us because without that we wouldn't have even knew what we were doing and if you guys do want to save the 10 percent, like i said i'll leave the link down below to get signed up and you do get a seven day free trial so it's worth trying it out if you don't like it then you don't like it but you know there's a lot that can really happen as far as it being good for you guys